Hi there, I'm Sophie Johnson. I'm a 35 year old Team GB triathlete. I've done um, all distances from sprint to Ironman and I've been lucky enough to work with some of the major wetsuit brands in being one of their ambassadors and also working a lot of the um, triathlon shows and fitting people into the various wetsuits. And so I've got a good idea of what I'm looking for in a wetsuit, how it should fit, how it should feel and how it should help you in the water. I'm lucky enough to uh, be testing the Blue 70 Reaction and Glide swimsuits or wetsuits. Um, I can't wait to get these on, get out in the open water. I started with Blue 70 um, at the beginning of my triathlon career um, and later on became sponsored by another brand um, and was in that, that brand for quite some time but I always remember the love I had for my original Blue 70 wetsuit. So I'm uh, happy to be getting on board and reviewing these and I will report back. Hey, so I've tested both the suits thoroughly now. Um, I took the reaction out to uh, Madrid to do the European Standard Distant Championships. Unfortunately, the swim was cancelled, it was red, green, algae. Um, so I did a race locally, again, another standard distance and that just speaks to the fact that how confident I felt in the suit to kind of go out and use it in what was potentially my A race out in the Euros. Um, I just knew I was quicker in the water. Um, so on trying it in the race, I found that as I was working really hard towards the back end of the race, um, I was consciously aware that the neck was slightly higher, but it's psychosomatic. It doesn't actually impair my, impair my breathing at all. Um, and I am quicker in the suit um, so than my previous suits. So I am quite um, enthusiastic about the results. So I will be wearing this over the sprint and standard distances, that's for sure. Uh, I think over the longer distances, I might opt for an older suit that's a bit more comfier uh, around the neckline. And when I say comfy, I mean, I just don't know it's there. It makes no difference but just that one little seed of doubt can be enough for some people to really put them off. And especially over a, a longer race, you wanna be super comfortable. You want to kind of be able to put that outside out of mind. I do think that a huge part of that though is the fact that I am so big across the top. I do a lot of weights, CrossFit, um, I swam since I was four. So I tend to be bigger up top on my arms and lats. So I think if you were maybe, um, slimmer at the top, bigger like muscular at the bottom, these suits are gonna feel like an absolute dream for you. I think just because I am so broad shouldered when I get a size that fits me down here, it is maybe a tiny bit restrictive over my shoulders, but it is so minor. Um, I, in terms of training, adore the shorty wetsuit, um, especially when it's been as warm as it has been of late, the waters around me are, pretty darn warm so just not kicking against the suit as a swimmer a pool swimmer um, since being young it just feels a lot more natural and you've seen from the videos previous to this the buoyancy it gives you is exceptional um, so you really do keep that high um, position in the water but just it frees the kick it frees your arms it just feels so lovely to wear and train in so for the big training sessions open water that's going to be the go-to suit for me um but yeah overall i am really impressed with both of the suits and i will feel really confident in recommending them to anybody now um it's been like i said a few years since i've worn uh blue 70 and i'm really pleased with the um improvements they've made into their suits and the numbers don't lie i am right now faster in that suit so Here's to more good results. I hope you found the review useful um, and give it a try. There'll be places near you for you to try out your various wetsuits, rent them um, and find the brand that works for you.